Hello everybody, JT here. Uh, first video of Solid Cam. I got to play with uh, this software over the last couple weeks. And it, it seemed, you know, easy to learn. I wouldn't say easy, but it's, you know, fairly easy for me to pick up some symbol programming, like three axis, you know, some symbol five axis. So I think it, you know, and also at night because it integrates in solid work. So whatever you draw in solid work, you define in solid work, it will recognize in solid cam as well. Therefore, there's, you know, like tap or down hole or something like that. I think it make easier for you to program in solid cam. If you define in solid work, you know, like closely, then you can, <coughs> excuse me, then you can use, you know, uh, feature recognition in solid cam and then they will pull the tool out or something like that for you to do. I, I'm not very uh, familiar with it, you know, stuff yet, but I was playing with it a little bit, so. But this video just show you how to quickly set up your XYZ0 stock target and some settings you need to uh, do before you make your program. All right, first let's go in uh, some of the tab here and you can see solid cam part. They have a lot of feature options for you to use. Right. Look at a lot of them. I don't even know like what these stuff do though. But you know, I will keep watching and then learning because you know I'm just eager to learn something new. Solid cam 3D and multi axis. Okay. A lot of stuff in here and even some turn into a template. So when you have some template and you put it in, you know, like somewhere, I think in the Hamlet tree or something like that, you will be able to see it here. But I will not go into there yet because it's going to be a while for me to learn all this stuff. All right, so that's just basically the UI, the interface of uh, uh, solid cam, right? And then next is want to show you first. You need to do some setup. So go into solid cam setting. All right, so in here you can see this folder. Usually I keep it the same. I don't change anything. Uh, unit. Here, when you work with metric or inches, right? So if you have a model in metric mode, I believe it will show in metric. And if you have a model in inches, it will show you inches. Or you can select this. And also, when you first install the, the, the solid cam, it will ask you what mode you want to use, metric or inches. And therefore, you can select them. Okay, and that's the second one. Everything else, I think I keep it the same. Okay, stock definition. In here, you can change it. Let's say if you know your stock, like bigger 200, you know, X plus, X minus, something like that, you put it here. But therefore, it will be like this. And I think you don't need to change this because from time to time it will be different. And then you can define it in, you know, like in uh, on the camp tree over here. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Yeah, I think everything should be default. I don't really change anything. But you know that just me because i do demo video but if you when you make your own program you should look 
pull this carefully and see which one you change and which one you don't need to change. And the next one I want to show you is the eye machining, right? So eye machining in solid cam is like volume mill in gear cam, right? It can be 2D, it can be 3D. But in here, you don't have to select the material and then the machine if you work with more than one machine, right? But let's say if you work with one machine only and then the material you use mostly, you can click in here and select or add in whatever it is. But for me, you know, I don't choose it yet because from time to time, I will be choosing different machine or something like that. But you have to define the eye machine, you know, uh, this option for you to use it. If you don't define it, it won't let you do eye machining. I'll show you when I set up the part, but I think that should be basically it, right? And yeah, the interface, the UI is, you know, just like solid work, so. It did fairly easy. Uh, this one had already have XYZ. Okay. But well, we can close this and then we can open. Just the file. Okay. Same file, right? Same model. I draw in solid work. But I will show you how to first set up your XYZ stock, define all those stuff before you make your program. So when you have the model open up, just click here, new, million, because this one will be million. So, <coughs> okay. So there are two options in here you can use to save your cam file. It can be external or it can be internal. External, that means you save at a different file like this, you know, like the file I opened previously. Or you can do internal. Internal is that mean when you save the cam file, it go with the model. So it kind of nice though when you change, let's say you want to change this radius bigger or this radius bigger. And then the two paths, you know, should be, you know, uh, calculate automatically after you, you know, you update the model. But, you know, we don't go into those yet. So let's just say, let's do internal because I did save the other file with the external one. So let's do internal for now. Right, and then it will come up this and then you select what machine you are going to use, right? I think they have a few here, horse, okay, something like that, right. Okay, now the next one is you pick the coordinate system, that means you pick where your XYZ0 is, okay. Just click on the face and see where it goes, okay, it goes in the center, that's what I want. Sometimes it goes in the corner, so you have to choose, I think, let's see, in here where you want it to be right so you can choose wherever you want to put your xyz zero is okay just hit okay and then it will say mac one precision one yes so in solid cam it called mac it's just like it identify the work for an system so if you Work with multiple one, it will be like Mac 2, Mac 3, or something like that. But for now, for this one, it's just three axis symbol, so it should hit OK. Uh, Mac 1, precision 1, OK. All right, so as you see, the target is already selected because you work with that model, so it knows that is your target. You can see it by click on that and then you can see this is your model the whole time right okay next is define your stock so as I said earlier 
you can view it and it should be automatically put in here right and you just select that the model and it will come out 100 here 100 here and 250 down here 100 up here but you can change this though you can change to whatever your model is and then you can you know work with that stock that you have so but for now you know just click ok right and then ok so I'll leave this alone and then I'll show you why it's not gonna work but for now just ok therefore now you have coordinate system defined target defined stock defined so everything should be ready for you to make the program so let's do uh let's make a quick one let's just do a face off okay so when you want to add the two paths in your cam tree right sometime it should show something over here i don't see it Oh, face. Yeah, interesting. Oh, I thought it should show face off. No? Okay, well, here is another way you can do right click, Miolin operation, face. Alright, so let's just name it face off. Put season one, yeah. Okay, now go to two. You don't have any two defined yet, so just pick a quick two here. Now three inches. You should hit OK here. Okay, everything it should fill up. Excuse me. Everything should be filled up because. Let me see, yeah, clear level 1 inch, safety 100 above, mule level form, top of stock, okay, from top target, so it's about 100 down, right, okay, uh, you, you can do hatch, or you can do, you know, like some contour or something like that, but usually hatch is the way for this. It's a little bit new, you know, versus gip cam, so uh, you got to play with it and see which one works for you. But everything else, you see a lot of options here, but mostly will be default, and then you just need to uh, look around and see, you know, which one it with, and then you will be able to. Uh, use it and if this one is gonna hit the material what if we render it it's way clear out here that's why okay so uh, this is the entry in just yet and then when it ends it just come up so it's not gonna hit material i was thinking it's gonna hit the stock but all right so that just basically symbol face off the uh, operation right next one i want to use the i machining so i can tell you why Make one, let add I machine in, just do 2D. When you don't have the machine and material defined, it will show on this, right? And then it will ask you to define your machine because it calculate by calculate speed and feet and step over automatically based on that machine. So you have to define that machine to you. Uh, this one so let's just do something simple easy and then when you choose when you define your machine you now will be able to UI machining so 
And I mean, of course, when you work with one machine there, you should, you know, define your machine to, to use it, you know, efficiently, efficiency of that machine because you, you want to, they, they will ask you like, what is the horsepower, kilowatt, you know, uh, spin the speed, max, you know, feed rate or something like that. You have to define those to use it accordingly with your machine of course so but for this just to roughly quick here uh let's do outside because we're gonna just do outside right everything else should be you know okay select two all right so, uh, level, okay, pocket dev, I think that is a dev. Let's do another 20,000 down below that. So, and then in here, you will see this. I think it will be automatically, so maybe two step or something like that. But it will fill out, you know, this stuff for you, fit and speed all those stuff so that's why it need the machine defined to you it you know better and then the machine level here you can see this one is just you know if you want fast or slow something like that so other than that i think it will be let me see why it's saying that no. See, it's not very, it's not very good. The two passes not evenly, so I think somehow I have to change it to to just one pass. I think there's a way to modify it, but well, for now, just show you quickly how it works with the setup of the, you know. Machine, so you can use uh, I machine in again. I machine in it just like volume meal in your cam, but as you can see, your cam is kind of easier because you uh, can do it, you know, quickly. Just put the there for something like that, or maybe this one I just don't know well enough yet. All right, so I think it should be. It for this video just show you quickly how easy to do and at uh, I learn more in the future I'll make more video of this software but I think it's nice I think it's like similar to uh, what is it master cam yeah master cam you know they they have the interface similar to this so yeah, they, they have a lot of options and features for you to use, so I think it will be good. Well, hope you like my first video, and if you have not subscribed to my uh, channel yet, make sure you do, okay? Because I'm going to make more video of this software in the future. Okay. All right, thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Uh, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so when I have new video, you can see uh, they will notify you to, to watch it. Uh, goodbye for now.